the perimeter of a rectangle is 70 centimeters, its diagonal is 25 centimeters, find the length and the width. So if this is our rectangle, this is the length and this is the width, and the opposite sides have the same length, so this is also the length and this is also the width. We know the diagonal, this length here, is 25 centimeters. And we also know the perimeter, or the distance around the rectangle, is 70 centimeters. Because the perimeter is 70 centimeters, we know that 2L plus 2W equals 70. Now from here, let's write the length L in terms of W by solving this equation for L. The first step is to isolate the L term by subtracting 2W on both sides. Simplifying, we have 2L, 2W minus 2W is zero, so we have 2L equals 70 minus 2W, and now we divide both sides by two, or divide each term by two. Simplifying here, we have 1L or L equals 70 divided by two is 35, and here we have two divided by two, which simplifies the one, giving us just minus w. So now we can say that L is equal to 35 minus w. Remember our goal here is to determine the length and the width of this rectangle. We'll notice the diagonal cuts the rectangle into two right triangles. Let's focus on this upper right triangle here we can set up an equation in terms of w now using the fact that for a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the length of the legs and c is the length of the hypotenuse. So notice how for the Pythagorean theorem, this is the hypotenuse c, and these would be the legs of the right triangle. Let's call this a and let's call this b, which means w squared plus Again, we want one equation in terms of one variable, so we won't use L, we will use 35 minus W. So we have plus the square of 35 minus W must equal 25 squared. Now we will simplify and solve for W. We have W squared plus two factors of 35 minus W equals 25 squared, which is 625. Now let's multiply the two binomials, where we have four products, one, two, three, and four. We have w squared plus 35 times 35 is 1,225. And then we have 35 times negative w, which is negative 35w. And then this product also gives us a negative 35w, so we have minus 70w. And then negative w times negative w is w squared. So we have plus w squared equals 625. Simplifying the left side of the equation, we have two like terms here, which gives us 2w squared minus 70w. And then we have plus 1,225 equals 625. And now we subtract 625 on both sides, which gives us 2w squared minus 70w. 1,225 minus 625 is 600, so we have plus 600 equals zero. Notice how we have a quadratic equation, which we can now solve by factoring. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor which in this case is two. If we factor out two, we're left with w squared minus 35w plus 300. If this quadratic in the parentheses does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because we have a w squared here, which is equal to w times w, we have a factor of w here and a factor of w here. And the constant terms, or the second terms in each binomial, will be the factors of 300 that add to negative 35. That's not an easy question, but negative 15 times negative 20 is positive 300, and negative 15 plus negative 20 is negative 35, which means one binomial factor is w minus 15, 
and the other binomial factor is w minus 20. And now using the zero product property, if this product is equal to zero, either w minus 15 equals zero, or w minus 20 is equal to zero. Solving for w, we have w equals 15, or w equals 20. Now we have the information we need to answer the question. The length L, again, is equal to 35 minus W. Let's use W equals 15, which gives us 35 minus 15, which equals 20. And this is the length. It would be 20 centimeters. And the width, which is equal to W, is 15. And of course, this is centimeters. Now I want to show what happens if we use w equals 20. If we use w equals 20, we would have the length is equal to 35 minus 20, which is equal to 15 centimeters. And the width, if we're using w equals 20, is 20 centimeters. But typically, the length is a longer side, and the width is a shorter side. And therefore, we will say the length is 20 centimeters, and the width is 15 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.